how many beautiful girls of your class that are in the university that can bring themselves so low to serve people in a place like this. <laughs> oh, stop now, stop. Have you forgotten this is my mother's shop? And the money for my school fees, my handout, everything it comes from this little shop. You see? This is why I swore that I must marry you. <laughs> I must marry you. <laughs> You're so humble. So respectful, so understanding. Oh. I love you. I, I must marry you. Do you want more food? No, no, I'm not going to. Where did you say your mother went to? Okay, she went yeah, to the house. Yeah, I'm going to tell her 400. I'm going to tell her 400. How about the supply you told me about? Have you started supplying it? No, I've not. I've been trying to raise money for the supply, but I've not really been successful. Thank you. No, Chemi, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. Are you saying you just sit down and fold your arms while someone else takes the supply away from you? Anita, but you know the condition of my business. Hmm? But don't worry, I have plans to raise money. I cannot afford to lose that contract. I cannot afford to lose that money. You know. You better do. You better do because if you don't, anyway, I reserve my comments. Hey, why are you talking like this? I said I have plans to raise money. You better do. You better do. Uh -uh. You see the way I'm suffering now. How can I be so suffering like this when I have someone like you as my fiance? Eh? Has my mother not suffered enough? See me. I even come to sell food here too. You better do something. Anita. Hmm? There's no problem. Hmm? I've heard you. Yeah? No problem. It's okay. Let me check if the customers need anything. Okay, please get me to speak when you serve them. Okay. Yeah. Did you say that the supply is worth four million naira? Yes, Papa. And I've tried my best to see whether I can raise the money. Whether there is anybody that can lend me the money. But nobody has accepted to do that. Even my colleagues in the market that I have begged to supply me goods on credit so that I will know whether I can sell it and raise the money. None of them agreed. What they are after is for me to shift the supply to them so that they can do it and give me 2% profit. 2%. Maybe. Papa, I have only four days to do this contract or I will lose it. Please do something. My son, you know that your father does not have this kind of money that you require to do the business. Huh? If I have it, I'll just go in there and give it to you. I am sitting on this throne as the Igwe because it is my inheritance. I inherited it from my father when he died. Just like you are going to sit on this throne when I have joined my ancestors. Papa, I've heard all these things before. Eh? Please, I don't want to lose this contract. Mama. Mm. Say something now. What do you want me to say? Kehi chokanku. Si digi na this business. Hey, he said that he doesn't have that kind of money. Besides, you know our condition in this family. Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, not we stand then. Your uh. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Um, go to my bedroom. Bring them my, my bag. 
But why haven't you contacted your bankers? Bankers? Will they give you anything if you don't have anything in your account? And they'll start asking for collaterals and all that. That is all. They're going to do something. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Thanks, sir. This one to the one your father gave you. Hmm? Is this one seven thousand naira? Mm -hmm. How are you? <coughs> are these not two bundles of two hundred naira each? That's forty thousand. Yes, forty thousand. That's all I have. I asked for 1.8 million naira for a start to, to do this business, which will give me 1.5 million naira profit. Both of you just gave me 47,000 naira. Can we me again? Manage it. On the chair, my son. I don't want to say that I am disappointed in you. I have given you all that I have. It is my prayer that you succeed in business. Because if you succeed, I have succeeded. If I had more money, like I said, in there, I'll give it to you. But I don't have. Huh? See what you can do with that amount of money. That's all you can afford for now. Manage this one. For what? Manage it now. For gaining. Honor, cheer. Honor, My elders, Igwe. Igwe. our wife uh, Monica, Igwe. you are all welcome. Yes, thank you. I know that all of you are aware why we are here today. <laughs> um, before I say anything, does anybody have anything to say? Um. Yes, Igwe. I have something to say. Please speak up. I believe we all are elders, and elders uh, do believe in the truth, unless if anybody does not. But I, Ichie Pius, I believe in the truth, and I must say it. Yes. Igwe, I am from Umude. Ichie Nzeka here is from Umude. Uh, Monica here and her late husband are from Umude. When her late husband was still alive, I used to see them farming in that land. Ezekiah here never complained to me, nor to any member of the kindred. Ezekiah, you never complained to me. And you know me very well. Why this sudden change of yours? Is it because this poor woman here has just lost her husband. Is that the only reason you are bringing this kind of problem in the kingdom? Zeka. Zeka. Pius. Igwe. Pius, uh, uh, Your Highness, uh, my fellow elders, uh, you see all these things uh, which Pius said are nothing but the truth. And uh, how you giddy guy so much believe in truth? You see, I do not know why Nzeka always likes to ferment trouble. Claiming what he actually knows that does not belong to him. Okiriga, keep quiet! Who made you a judge over this matter? By the way, how 
How do you know that those things does not belong to the second? Don't go and burn a fool. You are talking to me. Are you from Umude? Then and what happened? What happened? If I am not from Umude, enough of this rubbish. Oh, you that? Enough of this rubbish. If you don't keep quiet now, I will order both of you out of this palace. Yes, quiet. Uh, because oh no, I'm so sorry. You better. Um, Ichi, Ichi, Jendo. I know me. Have you anything further to say? Oh no, we not judge you. Yes. What I'm saying is that this woman, Monica, should go home and rest. Even if those things in question belong to her late husband, she should not forget the fact that Zekaria is her late husband's elder brother. And as such, whatever that belongs to her late husband also belongs to Zeka. Impossible with Zeka as the father of that. Let me ask you a question. Do. Have you forgotten that Monica here had two male children? Two male children for the husband before he died. Oh no, it's true. But no but. No but. Ah, but ah. Don't say anything again. Igwe, she this matter has dragged so long. Uh, it's better we call a spade a spade. You can now address us. Yes. Uh, my elders, before I say anything, I want to show you something. Um, Obinda. Obinda, come. Igwe. Go and uh, bring those things I gave you two nights ago to keep for me. Igwe. Please have some patience, sir. There is uh, some material here and some money on this side. This goat and this drink, including this one, these are gifts from Ichie Nzeka to me. I want him to tell you people what he told me the day he brought these things to my house. Since he doesn't want to talk, I will tell you why and what he said. He just like I said that he's aware that he knows he accepted that the land and the economic trees belong to his late brother. But he brought this good and these things so that we tilt judgment in his favor. Can you see how wicked some people can get? Cheers, Zaka. You are a disappointment. I don't even know why I made you a council member in the first place. I want you to take this widow, your late brother's wife, home and make peace with her. If there's anything she has that you want, Beg her, ask her, she'll give you. Yes. Have I made myself clear? Am I understood? Um, As for you, Chijindo, I want you to be very careful. Very, very careful. When next you come to my palace and you want to cover the truth, you want to play injustice, I want you to be very careful. Because I'll, next time you do it, I will deal with you squarely. Igwe, my water, my water. Um, Madam Monica. Igwe. Uh, just go home and relax. Hmm? Igwe. He is not going to give you any more problems. But if he does, come and report to me. I will know how to handle him. Thank you, Igwe. 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 Thank you. Igwe. Igwe, got chitaka. I said it. Igwe. Go over there. Places. Please, Oga Ben, please, give me more time. I, I, I will make it. More time. 
I don't have that leisure. See, I've given you enough time. Huh? I've done that already. I have so many persons that can deliver this in less than no time. But I gave you the contract because I know you needed help. And here you are telling me to give you more time. Listen, it, the government is on my neck. If they revoke this contract as they are already threatening to do, my money will go down the drains. I'm not ready for that. Okay, just two more days. If you give me these two days and I don't deliver, take the contract. Listen to yourself. Please. Just two days. I've already given you eight days. You couldn't deliver. So what makes you think you can deliver in two days? Maybe you don't know the amount of money I paid as bribe before getting this contract. Because if you do, probably you'll be serious. You wouldn't be sitting here messing up. Just put ties in some of these buildings and I will deliver this project to the government. And, and I will get my money. If they revoke this contract, my money will go down the drains. And I'm not ready for that. I am not. Yeah, please, just this last time, please. Where is this girl? How much is your money? 250. 250. You build the one? Yes. No, it's 250. Oh. Mm. Fast, fast, fast. Then when you come, eh, you put this money where it should be. Hey. What is it? You're not eating your food. Huh? Baby, talk to me. What, what is it? I lost it. You lost what? The supply. You lost the supply? But I thought you said you had plans of getting the money. My plans didn't work out. Please, I need calm water water and I need price. So why didn't you meet your father so he could use his influence and get money from someone for you? I did. But he couldn't do anything. What type of thing is this now? What type of thing is this? Eh? Oh no, Che. Are you sure this marriage will work? Why are you talking like this? Is it because I lost the supply? Anita, don't worry. I know that better things will still come. Anita, where are you going? Can't you say I'm busy? I'm busy. Eh? Can't you see? Hurry up. Watch this place. Take them back to the backyard. Hurry up. When you finish, you come and take stock of these drinks, please. Chief Opajindo, you are welcome to my palace. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes. How's everybody? Oh, everybody's fine. We're good. Uh, uh, what about uh, my son, Prince Anache? Oh, 
Oh no, yeah, yes. Um, he came home last week. And he has gone back to the city. Oh, oh. So, what of your wife? Did she come with you? Unfortunately, she couldn't. Um, very, very busy. Uh, but she sends her regards. Thank you. <laughs> Greet her for me. Yeah, I will. Yes. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, I came home. Mm. Um, our people say that uh, you do not go past Igwe's palace mm. and not pay obeisance. <laughs> <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Yeah. I have come to say thank you on behalf of the entire kingdom. We are very, very happy with you and the way you are leading us. Thank you very much. May God in his almightiness continue to guard and guide you for us. Amen. Amen. With the support of people like you, we can't do bad at all. Thank you very much. And uh, I brought this, uh, this drinks for you. Uh, and, yes, and all uh, of them for me. <laughs> and uh, this little uh, amount, uh, it's, it's, it's 100,000. Uh, 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 just don't manage it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you, you, you call this one little. <laughs> well, uh, well uh, may the Almighty God replenish your pocket from where this one came from. Yeah, may He continue yeah. to bless you. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, you have to excuse me. Yeah. I have to get back into the city. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's no problem. Thank you. Let me see you off. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. So, send me well to your lovely wife. I will do. Thank you. To bless Thank you. you very much. Okay. And I'll, I'll try and get in touch with the, my son. Yeah, so much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Monica. Well done. Monica. Where are these children? They have gone to school. Ah. Yes, sir. All right. Monica, please come. Go inside there and get a chair. I want us to talk. No, you can talk to me while standing because I'm still sweeping. Mm, I know you can stand. But please, bring that chair in here. I want you to sit down while I talk to you. Okay, sir. I called you here so that I can make peace with you. I don't know what came over me. Hmm? I want you to forgive me all that I have done to you. Please. It will never happen again. 
You see, you are like a wife to me. Now that my wife is dead. My brother, your late husband, is also dead. And he left these little kids under your care. Please, Monica. I want us to join hands together and train these little kids. I want us to organize this family. You see, those things we were dragging, they belong to your husband. I want you to take them all. Take them. Even my own. Take. We are one family. Please. I'm sorry. My Zika. Mm. Well, I've had you. <coughs> because since all this problem started, I've been wondering what has come over you. A queens. Eh? I've been wondering. A queens. Is it in Zeka I know? In Zeka of all people that suddenly changed. Since my husband was alive, we used to stay together, play together as a peaceful family. Yeah. But I know that at times the devil can put one problem or the other into one's family, into a peaceful family, just to disorganize everything. No, no, Dagun. But in in Zeka, I really thank God. God has taken control. And I really thank God for the way you are sounding. Thank you. Zeka. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, my thank daughter. You, thank you, my dear. Thank you, thank you for accepting my apology. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm going to send to the city so that TK Chuku will come back. I want him to take one of your children to the city. At least train him in school. Nice, Zeka. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy, nice, Zeka. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Stop thanking me. Just sit down. Eh? They are my children. Abi. They are my children. And they are also Ikechuku's brothers. Exactly. Eh? We are the same thing. There is no need for this battle. Thank you, sir. Uh, one more thing. When you finish sweeping, there is yam inside that place. Let's take one and prepare a breakfast for us to eat. Hmm. Nice, Zeka. Hmm. Hmm. I have um. That wonderful noob which I prepared last night. <laughs> uh, okay. Do uh, well, I bring it just now? But don't worry, just uh, when you finish the sweeping. Okay, sir. You bring it for me. Okay. Nice, okay. Thank you, sir. Dialogue Thank you, sir. Hi. 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 Thank you so much. We had a good treat in there. And like I said earlier, your house is really fine. The furniture is everything. Thanks a lot. I'm <laughs> glad you did. Yeah, the house is very lovely. And we actually enjoyed our stay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Anyway, it's, uh, you're free to visit anytime. It's my place. It's like a second place to you. So whenever you feel like, pop in. Thank you. So I'm going to see you girls up now then and drive you home and maybe pop in somewhere to pick you a few things. Thank you. You're welcome. See you. <laughs> Monica. Good afternoon. It's like you are just coming back from the market. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. as you can see, I'm just coming okay. back from the market. Yeah, welcome. I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Yes. Is there any problem? Um, no, 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 no. It's just about what happened last time in King's Palace. You see, Zeka is a wicked man. I'm not happy the way he treated you and he's treating you now. I wonder if he don't see the beauty I'm seeing in you. Beautiful woman as you are. I wonder. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. You don't need to bother yourself. Eh? There is no problem again in our family. There is no problem. No problem between I and Zeka. No problem. We have settled everything. We are now living peacefully in the family. There's no problem. Thank you very much for your concern, sir. Mm. I have to leave because, as you can see, it's lunchtime and my kids must be hungry by now. Mm. So thank you, sir. 
Ah, Mónica, 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 Mónica. Come. <laughs> Come. The guy is only pretending. He does not like your progress in that family. Huh? Boy, he bribed me to do what I did in the palace. But I want to tell you, you need a strong chair who will stand by you. Especially now that your husband is late. By how? Uh -uh. Who will always stand by you in this community? Support you, care for you. A strong chair. I don't say that it's me. But if you look at all the chairs, I wonder who is stronger than I am. So, Chijindo, a wongi. A wongi, Chijindo. I, Onyarwana, Kateka. Kateka, Chijindo. I remember you, man. I was only praising God because peace has returned in your family. Indeed. Praise God, hallelujah, Zika. Then, man. Now, listen. I heard everything you said. I heard you from there. I heard you very clearly. And let me warn you. Let me warn you. Another day I will see you talking to Monica. I will simply behead you. Oh! Can see Kwano? That is why you said, do this to her. Do that to her. Beat her. And you go about one more one. You want to be the good man, why I will be the wicked man. Julia, why you? My friend, get out. You know you are my man. Monica, 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 Zeka, hey, Zeka, Zeka, Zeke one of Zeke may be in business. May be in here today. Zeka one of. You got wait for me, just give me a minute while I go reverse the car because of the rain, okay? Okay. Alright. Anita, I don't understand you anymore. Have you accepted to date that guy? No. I'm still thinking. I don't know whether to accept him or not. You're still thinking? And you allowed him to take us out? For God's sake, this guy spent over 50,000 naira on both of us today. He's true I was smiling in there, but Okay, if tomorrow you decide not to date this guy, what will happen to the money that he's spending on both of us? What did you expect me to do? He said he wanted to take us out now. What about the other guy you've been telling me about? You have even refused to show me this guy. You will not understand. But very soon you will. Me? Me, I won't understand. Anita! Anita! Me, I don't want to eat anything that will boomerang. Mm. Don't worry. Anything that comes from me won't boomerang. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, 
Who is that? Anita. Oh, oh Anita. Oh. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Hey. What happened oh, now? I'm not sure what you're doing. Sorry, I was sleeping. Sorry, eh? Welcome. My friend. Oh, how are you? Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Oh, my God. Come, please. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, you're welcome, eh? Thank you. Ah! Mm. So, let me do the introduction. Okay. This is what I've been telling you about. He's a very nice man. Very, very nice. I don't have a bad boy. No. <laughs> and this is my friend. Her name is Okechi. Mm -hmm. She's also my cosmate. She lives in Jos. Hey. Oh, she's a fine girl. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you? I'm fine. So how are your parents? Well, they were fine when I left them. Huh. Joss. Anyway, they will continue to be fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're so funny. Amen. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What do I get for you? Mm. Soft, please. Okay. My usual. Mm. My usual. My to honor chair. See the house. Is this where you want me to come back to when I finish school? Listen, my friend. You know I will not deceive you. All that glitters are no gold. They are not. Honor chair might be poor now, but he has good manners. This other guy, what's his name? Chris. He might be rich, but have you asked yourself where he gets his money from? Have you? I... But we heard him talk to his business partners abroad the other day now. Story. Do you believe that? Do you know whether he's pretending? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Chris. See his fleet of cars. The house. Hey. Chris is the money on check. So what do you intend to do now? Dump on OJ or move on with Chris? Is that what you really want? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking. I don't know. You see your life. You see your problem. You're so confused that you don't even know what you want in life. I'm just trying to face reality. I don't know. Don't say I didn't tell you. Uh, hey. I started to get my own usual. Hey, that's my baby. You're washing, eh? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Well, how are you? I'm fine. You? I'm good. What brought you here? I came to see you. Oh, you're welcome. You. How are you? Fine. That's and good. you? I'm fine. Oh, you look fine. Thank you. And you? <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, honey, can't you even give me a hug? Can't you see that my hands are wet? It doesn't matter. I don't mind. No, no, Chair. I ask you again. What brought you here? Look, okay. I'm saying it again. I came to see you. Can't, can't you see that I don't want to see anybody? Eh? Anybody? Wait, wait, wait. Are you referring to me as just anybody? Okay. I'm sorry I said that. Just go, please. Wait. Anita, you mean I came all the way from my house to see you? And all I get is for you to turn me back and tell me to go. Why are you trying to make an issue out of this? Why? Why? 
I'm not in the mood to see any visitor. I don't want to receive any visitor. Can't you just let me be, please? Okay. How about this for you? Drop it. I should drop it on the ground. Drop it on the ground. Anita, what has come over you? Why do you treat her chair like that? Uh, Ogechi, please don't start, please. For God's sake, Anita, if you don't want that guy any longer, tell him and stop messing around with him. Are you crazy? Because of Chris that you met yesterday, that's why you treat on chair like that. And what if I met Chris just five minutes ago? What if I met him five minutes ago? And so? Please, please, yeah. I don't want to sit yourself. Sit yourself. When did this sickness start? Just this afternoon. And since then, he has been restless. In that case, I think the best thing we do is take him to the hospital and invite the Prince Onoche to come back home. No. Huh? Why? He warned that no one should take him to hospital. Mm hmm? Hey. Why must he say such a thing? Mom, I don't know. Well, if the were warned that he should not be taken to a hospital, who are we to, to say no? That decision this year. Yeah. You mean we leave the Igwe here to die? No, James Eka. I, I'm, I'm not just talking about death here. What I'm saying is how do we treat him and get him back to hell? Hey, Biano, eh. Um... You changed Zeka. I oh, know. And uh, Chijindo. Both of you will go straight to the medical center and bring a medical practitioner, a doctor here. Now, now, now. Proceed. <coughs> hey! I will call the source to come back immediately. Okay? Yes, I'll get you back immediately. Hello? Oh no. Good evening, sir. Huh? My father's sick. You go sick. Huh? My God. Okay, I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, please, sir. Yes, I want you to see what you can do to commence treatment on him until I come. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. He will be sick. I feel like he's not only really sick or what happened. My God.
Honey, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my baby. Thank you very much. Let me have your finger. I'm so happy. Come, 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 come. Baby. 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 Make me the most happiest person. I'm gonna take you around. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make your life living. <laughs> Pius, I called you out here so that we put our heads together. You've heard what Eono just said. So what do you think? Um, like, like I can go get here, Chichindo. In the bank, na eziama, eziama. Se na iya banaka, ejiro ogobo enyoya. Eh? If we will support each year, uh, 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 oh, no, to uh, hand over the throne to Obajendo, eh? and we become his years, <laughs> our life will change for better. <laughs> so, in other words, you support him. <laughs> well, I am on your side. I shall support him too. So let's go and finish this discussion with him. <laughs> Our son. We are back. Mm. And uh, we have concluded that you have taken a wise and right distinction. Oh. <laughs> so go ahead and do whatever that is right for the benefit of our people. <laughs> I want you to be assured that we are solidly behind you. In fact, as a matter of fact, we are going to help you to talk to other elders. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nichi. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Anoche, how do you mean you want to sell me the throne? We are in the history of uh, Eziyama. Has that ever happened? Look, I thought you had come to tell me that you had picked a date for your traditional and white wedding so that I can release the money that I promised you and then begin to plan for your coronation as a Igwe of Eziyama Kingdom. Chief, you won't understand. I am far too young to come back to this village and tie myself down in the name of Igwe. While all my mates are doing well in their businesses. You're capable of being the Igwe. You're rich. And you've come of age. There's no place that you will stand and talk. That people will not listen and respect you. Look at all that communities. All their Igwe's are rich. Why can't our own Igwe be rich? In fact, I'm already seeing the Igwe in you. Just look at this. His Royal Majesty, Igwe Romanus Obagendo of Eziama Kingdom. Mm. You can beat it. Mm. Um. <clears throat> I'll think about it. Thank you very much, Chief. Okay, um, I'll see you in three days' time. Okay. Ah, uh, Ndi. 
Chief. Yeah. Chief. You're welcome. Chief. Chief. Yeah. You're welcome. Chief. You're welcome. Chief. You're welcome. Chief. Uh, I hope everything is all right. Uh, no, 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 Everything is fine. Good. So let's uh, let's get you some drinks. Uh, uh, no, no, chief. Where are uh, these, boss? Chief. No. You see, we came for a very important issue. After that, uh, we can still go for cola. For the, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I feel good. I feel good. Um, what is the matter, <clears throat> uh, chief? I am sure you could gather this young man here. Of course. It's a, a prince, Onochi. Yes, 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 yes. Our Igwe to be. You see, Chief, you are right. There's something he told us, and uh, he said that uh, he has discussed with you. And uh, you ask him to go, that you will think about it. Yes. Uh, to tell you the fact, Chief, we, the cabinet members, uh, we are in fully support of that idea. So, you have nothing to fear about. You have to go ahead. Because uh, we are solidly behind him. You mean that uh, you are all aware of it? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, we are aware of it. We'll be very happy if you grant his request. Indeed, Jay. I have heard you. Thank you, Chief. Now, let's see what I'm refreshing. <laughs> What is it? You don't look happy. Talk to me, talk to me. Dr. Francis, you are quite right. Something is bothering me. What is it? What is it? You remember, I told you uh, a while back that we lost our Igwe, he joined uh, his ancestors, and that the next Igwe is his uh, son, Prince Onoche, and that I have um, volunteered to um, be responsible for the cost of the coronation. Yes, vividly, I remember you mentioned it, Chief. Well, a few days ago, I've, the same young man came to offer me the throne. Jesus Christ! It's not funny. Igwe! I have not accepted the offer yet. Then what are you waiting for? Huh? What are you waiting for? So many rich men in the society are looking for an opportunity like this and they can't have it. See, when a man has gotten money, Chief, the next thing is power. And with that position as the Igwe, you can have the power. And with the power, you can enter anywhere. The governor's office, the president's office. Just name it. Not just that, Chief. You can go for government contracts and have them. Because you are not recognized in the society. I mean, it's only going to find a memo. This is what you say I should do. Call him immediately and settle him. Collect the Igwet ship. Please. I think you should accept the offer. It's a good idea. Since the elders in council and your friend Dr. Francis, they are in support of you. You should take it all. Because me, I can't wait to be the Lolo of Izama Kingdom. <laughs> Pico, we will take it. Oh. Women. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey now. What if I decide I don't want it? No, Chief. You will like it too. You will want it. Ha. Huh. Me, Mrs. Chidema Obajendo. The wife of His Royal Majesty, Igwe Romanos Obajendo. It's a great honor. Don't say such a thing, no. You will like it. <laughs> hey now, think about it. You will like it. Oh, women. Women. <laughs> 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 
I sent for you concerning the things you've been talking about. You see, I have been giving it very serious thought. And um, I'd like to know um, how much are we really talking about? Well, um, Chief, I want to first of all thank you for accepting my offer. That means that you have my interest at heart. Well, the money is not much. Just give me 20 million naira. Hi! I'm not sure, 20. That's a lot of money. Let us say, uh, 10 million naira. Chief, for your information, many rich men in this community have been approaching me for the same issue since they realized that I want to sell the truck. But why I made a choice of you is because you're a kind man. Because of the promise you made to me before I changed my mind. First. Otherwise, I would have sold this all time. All right, all right. Um, why don't you come and collect your money in three days' time? Uh, thank you, Chief. Sir, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. See you then. Thank you. Thank you. Chief, that's it. That's it. My fellow elders. Oh, oh no. 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 Greatest. No. Lolo. Mm. Prince Onoche. Oh no. My greetings. I call this meeting specifically to ask Onoche in the presence of everybody if it is true that he has negotiated with Bajendo to sell the throne of Eziama Kingdom despite my warnings. Prince Anuchi, this question is for you to answer. Answer us. Am I deaf? I know now. I'm not deaf. Wazano? Yes. The throne is mine. And I have every right to give it to whomever I have chosen. Hey. Eh? Lola, are you aware of that? Yes. You are aware? I warned him not to do that. But he wouldn't listen. <coughs> what else will I do? Uh, but, uh, oh no. This is not enough reason to bring us together. I have a lot of things doing. Let's get this matter straight. According to the tradition and customs of Hezema Kingdom, the true impression is on chair's inheritance. And he has every right to hand it over to whomever he wants. Cha! Chijin the cha! Cha in a slum! Zeka! Hmm. Why is it that every time you discuss important issues in this kingdom, you will never contribute positively? What is wrong with you? Uh, what and is what is wrong with what he said? Everything is wrong with what he said. I'm asking you, what is wrong with what he said? Oh. Ask him. Ah. Oh, Paris, you are his back man, eh? You are supporting him. I see. Birds of the same feathers. If you like. Call it vultures of the same feathers. I don't care. All I'm saying is that Omoche here has the right to do whatever he like with the throne of Eziama Kingdom. That is his own right, that right. I don't care with whatever any of you are saying, but for me, it's a pious. I am in support of him. Let him carry go. We are in support of him. 
I am also standing by Omoche day and night. And you people are keeping quiet, eh? Jeffrey, I will never support him for. What do you got? What do you give me, Kitty? What? Everyone. Yes, sir. Are you supporting them too? What do you want to hear from me? Are you supporting you them from me? What's his mouth? And you are still asking a probing question. Yeah. I see a conspiracy here. I see conspiracy here. Oh no. I think the best thing is for you to go to Chief Ubajindo and talk sense into his into his coconut. Talk sense into him. I think that's the best thing to be done. Mm o dela ka nka na ma pozu afo ka nje ma lo kuta gbala ivia ka nje ma lo kuta gbala ivia ani me je na obi igwe ka nje ma lo kuta gbala ivia mm igwe yo re ka na o ka nje ma lo kuta gbala ivia mm ono sie ono sie ono sie There's no problem. It has come to my knowledge that you want to transfer the birthright of Ezmez's family to Chief Obajindo's family for money. <laughs> now let me tell you. The gods of this land and our forefathers he sold Igbo sheep here. And nobody, I repeat, nobody has the power or authority to take it away from here. Not even I, the chief priest of Ezeama Kingdom. Ono shiye, onyana awibi, onye eto afo, onwe liho de rebende mo. But chief priest, Bet right, bet right, bet right. Huh? Is it not my bet right? Does it concern anybody? Ono shiye, be warned. How many times have I called? Hey! 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 Market days um, for my coronation as Igwe of Asia Market. Hey! Oh my god! Hey! Yes! We are ready! Yes! Oh no! Yes! 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 Because I have changed my mind, even settled on a right now you come and you say that I should withdraw. I am sorry, it is too late. It is not too late, Chief Obajin. It is not too late. You are not a stranger in this community, my neighbor land. Eh? Now let me ask you one question. We are in the history of Ezeama Kingdom or in Igbo land. Is the worship or the, the true for say? Where? Did you make any effort to contact other elders? Ask them questions before you accept the offer. You have not. And I suggest that you make the contact before it is 
too late for you to regret. Oh no. Of what relevance will this be? Uh -huh. I don't want you to soil your hands and attract the anger of the gods on yourself. That's all. It is never done in the history of Ezema Kingdom. Never! And you are warned. You are warned. Mm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. In two or four market days, you, Ono, will, will crown me the Igwe of Asiama Kingdom. That is all you have to do. Let the other things take care of themselves. You may leave. Chief, are you sure of what you want to do? Hi, baby. <laughs> when did you go? Oh, God, you look so good. Oh, thank God. You. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, when did you come? Well, not long. Um, yeah, but can I see you privately? There's no problem. No, no, no. no problem. Okay, come on, let's go. Uh, would you okay. make sure you calculate the money properly? Eh? Can you, can you on a chair? <laughs> I don't even know what words to use to describe you. How could I have forgotten? Igwe. I don't know, I need to stop that. Stop what? Are you not the Igwe? Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, meanwhile, so how is Lola? Anita, stop that. You, you've not changed your funny character a bit. <laughs> ah. um, uh, you, you know, I want you to come to the house tomorrow. There's something very important I want to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I actually wanted to come to your house too tomorrow. Uh, then it's good. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's tomorrow good. then. Uh, yeah. Igwe. Uh, stop that. Stop that. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm so happy now. You know, uh, now I know that money gives strength. And money answered all things. Uh, but you know, without your idea, I wouldn't have been able to clean up 20 million naira just like that. Mm? Thank you. And the first thing we're going to do is to see your parents immediately and conduct the introduction. And after the marriage, after the wedding, I am going to organize a very powerful boutique for you. And then, Concentrate on the importations. How is that? Baby, you're crying. What's the problem? No, Jen. Why did you do this to me? What did I do? Why didn't you tell me you were going to go ahead and do what I asked you to do? Baby, I didn't know I was going to do it until I gave it a second thought. And when my mind was made up, I sold the throne to Chifubajin for 20 million naira. Please, I'm sorry. But is that why you're crying? Don't worry. I'm here for you now. So, clean up, baby. It is too late. How do you mean? You say the only option for you to marry me is to sell this throne. And that's just what I've done. So, what's the problem again? Imagine, after how long? After how long? Yes. That's my card. For my traditional marriage to Greece. You left that day on the condition that you weren't going to do what I asked you to do. So I had no other option than to marry Grace. 
I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're a man, a real man. That is if you spend the money wisely. Anita, why? Why? Anita, you have to call off this marriage and marry me. I love you. you I can't. I can't. You've dreamt of this. I can't. I can't, please. I pray that you find a good wife. I wish you well in your business and everything. I'm sorry. Amen. Anita, I wish you happy married life and thank you for your golden idea. I will always be grateful. Once again, I say welcome. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Today is a very happy day. This is our first sitting since I became the Igwe of this kingdom. Igwe, that is true. <laughs> and I hope we are going to continue to meet. Oh. <laughs> From today, henceforth, this kingdom has entered into what I describe as brightness. <laughs> <laughs> I, Igwe Romanos Obachindu, the Igwe Neku one of Eziama Kingdom, <laughs> that I shall renovate all public places, town halls, hospitals, schools, churches, and um, three boreholes will be dug around this kingdom and more importantly five of the children of this kingdom shall be given scholarships every year in fact worldwide <laughs> Only pretty for two. One more thing. I am going to send uh, a tailor to your homes to measure you uh, because uh, he's going to show you at least three ceremonial dresses. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jaga. Oh, come here. Jaga. <laughs> Jaga. Ozu. <laughs> oh, there is more to come. Oh, yes. I am going to give each and every one of you here money. Money to buy yourselves some goodies, you and your family. Well, once again, you are welcome. Your Majesty. Um, it's, so, it's so nice to see you. Um, this is the first time since I, I was crowned um, the Igwe of this kingdom that we are going to meet. Well, as you know, this is added responsibility. Community work is something that I have always believed in. You know, and uh, I've been trying my best in my own private position. 
now I have been made the number one citizen in the kingdom and I want to make sure I contribute my widow's might. Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to do this effectively, I will not be able to run the company effectively. So I have decided to make some changes. Um, <clears throat> First of all, Mr. Johnson, um, since you joined the company, we have been very happy with <laughs> Thank yes. you, sir. I'd like to congratulate you. You, have, you are now the managing director. Huh? Your Majesty, I thank you very much. I promise you that I will make sure that this business empire will grow larger and larger and larger. <laughs> thank you, sir. Um, now we have uh, Nemeka. Yes. He's now being promoted to the position of marketing director. Thank you, sir. While the current marketing manager shall proceed on a three-year course to Harvard Business School. Okay, sir. Ngozi, you are, you are the PA to the managing director. You have now been promoted to company secretary. Your Majesty, <laughs> thank you very much, sir. No, we've never regretted having you in the family. Thank you, sir. Well done. You deserve it. Keep it up. Now, you will have to um, advertise for a new secretary of your own. <laughs> um, look for somebody who can be a personal PA as well. And a, we, we have a lot of people who are very well educated now who will play that role well. <laughs> I will do that. I leave it with you. I know you will handle it well. <laughs> Your Majesty. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this town is turning into. Oh no, she is an animal. Just imagine. He sold his bad wife because of money. Money! I could want it. Eh? And I know that wherever his father, the lady where he is, he will never be happy with him. <laughs> He's a fool. Look, Ichi and Zeka, mm -hmm. what is annoying me most is our elders who have sold their conscience to support Chief Ubajendo. They have even gone ahead to become his cabinet members. I learned that he's now showering them with money. Which? Money? Oh, yeah, man. Listen. Listen to me and listen carefully. Let them continue to eat his money. But I promise you, one day, just one day, they will vomit the money. Mm. Ah. Is that what? Am I not seeing you? What is What is it? Where is he going to? He's coming to my house. To your house? Yes. At this point in time? I don't know why. Until he comes. <laughs> Chief Zeka, how are you? Uh, you're welcome. Okay. Chio, Chio. <laughs> I was just coming from your house and I met nobody. Coming from my house? Yes. Why are you looking for me? Am I owing you? Ah, uh Chio. -uh, are you sounding like this? Are we quarreling? Even though quarrel or not quarrel, say what you want to say. Tell us what you have come here to tell us and leave this place. You know we are discussing. You can't you see? Uh, We've been holding an important discussion here. <laughs> I know there was one seat in this house. So let me get seat. Join us, Mr. Chen. Anyway, the Yigwe said I should come and call two of you. <laughs> what for? 
I wouldn't know, uh, but he kept on, you know, asking why both of you don't attend the cabinet meeting since he was thrown and crowned the Igwe. <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> but they have told us the reason why the Igwe wants to see us. You see, we have now turned to Chief Ubajindo's errand boy, his mayor on our this is simply because he has bought you a new dress <laughs> and bought you a new red cap. <laughs> yes, giving you some money for drinks. <laughs> and you are now busy going about the whole place, places, convincing everybody. Huh? Look at him, not minding the laws and the customs of this land. Look, Theophilus, I did not come here to listen to this rubbish you are vomiting. Tell me what I will tell you and let me grab from here. Chijende. A trajinero. Zeka, you know you're my man. Fuki to Oji. Yeah, trakunku tranku. Is it what you are drinking? Clean yourself! Go to Igwe's palace. You drink wine, eat chicken, salad, every good thing. You change your life. Kai na ngu. Kaiji. Oku kongo obo ya, be here. Go and tell him that you have seen us. Zeka. You are still my man. Come to Igwe's palace and enjoy life. Children, the Nagasi Kai Korea don't play. Live to you. But you, if you still change your mind, of course you will still accommodate you. Come to Igwe's palace and enjoy life. Come. <laughs> 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 Why are you standing? Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I know, we're okay like this. Why? We don't want to sit down. Uh, I, um, I, I see. Um, get them something to drink. No, don't bother yourself. We don't want to drink or eat anything. Just tell us why you sent Chijindo to call us to this place. Indeed, Chair. Yeah. Why are you sounding as if we are quarreling? Chief Ubadindo, tell us why you have called us into this place. Or, otherwise, Odawog, we are busy at our various homes several times. Point of correction, His Majesty. Mm. Anyway, since you have uh, refused to eat or drink or sit down, well, I'll tell you. The reason why I have asked you to come is to find out from you the reason why you have not attended any cabinet meeting since I was crowned the Igwe of this kingdom. As far as I am concerned, we don't have a king in the Zama kingdom. The only king I know that we be is Onochi. So whatever your plans with some of Ndiche and Onoche is, it's none of my business. So that nobody will involve me or call my name or my family when the calamity that will be upon this kingdom will come. And for your information, Chief Obajundo, the elders and the people of this community do not like you. Even the chief priest, Chief Obajundo, in your own interest, dismantle all these artifacts and send these boys from wherever you pick them. Let it be clear to you that the will of this community is not for sale. Go and look for Onochi and take your money back from him. And I'm listening very attentively, let me tell you, for the final time. What you and some of Ndichi are doing is abominable. The laws and the customs of this land Forbid them. Get out. I'm quiet. I say, get out. Please, I'm going to And your anger. Get out. These the eyes of ten years. Now, get out. We shall see. Let's. We shall see. What do you know? We shall see.